Hey guys, it's Rachel from Desert Blossom Crafts back with a new crochet pattern. Today I get to teach you how to crochet the Eva shawl. I'll put some pictures here so you can see what it looks like because it's a very big long shawl and I can't fit the whole thing here. The Eva shawl is a rectangular crochet shawl featuring a really pretty lace stitch pattern. If it looks intimidated, don't be afraid. It is extremely easy to make. We're just going to be using single crochets, chains, and double crochets. And I will take you through step by step how to make it in this tutorial. As far as materials go, you're going to need some bulky weight yarn and a J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. Now, for the yarn, the yarn I used here is called KC Spark Yarn. I will put a link to that down in the description if you want to check it out because I don't have any left to show you here. You can also use any regular number 5 bulky weight yarn. This one is just pretty for like a Christmas shawl because it has the gold metallic like strips going through it. But I'm just going to be showing you, demonstrating this tutorial today on Charisma bulky yarn which is available at Michael's. As far as the hook size, like I said, I used a J hook, but you want to use whatever hook you can obtain gauge with. There is more information on gauge in the written pattern, which is available either for free on my blog or as an ad-free premium PDF pattern. The links to both of those will be down in the description box so that you can check out the gauge and all the other info. It's also highly recommended that you follow along with the written pattern while watching this tutorial because it will make it easier as you go along. Now, if you're wondering, this is a shawl, do I really need to obtain gauge? The answer is maybe. If you don't care about the exact size of your shawl, you can go ahead and just use the hook I used or use whatever hook you'd like. But if you want to get the measurements that I list in the pattern, you are going to want to obtain gauge. There are three sizes included in the premium pattern and one size in the free pattern. So you can check out the measurements and info all around that and see what you would like to do. It's totally up to you as far as gauge goes and all of that. All right, with those things in mind, we can of this stitch pattern. Because this shawl is just one super long rectangle, there's no need for me to do a huge long row again as I show you. So I'm just going to show you on a smaller scale and then you'll want to check out the written pattern to see the exact number of stitches for your starting chain for each row, each row stitch counts, etc. So I've just started with a chain row of 20. The multiple for starting this shawl is any multiple of four chains. So the starting number for the actual shawls is in the hundreds, but you can really start with any multiple of four if you want to adjust the length. And this is made from the lengthwise. So we're actually starting, so here is, this is the width of the shawl, right? We're gonna work along the entire length. So it's very long. So again, you can adjust that with this starting number. So I have a chain of 20 here. For row one, I'm gonna skip the first chain and just work a single crochet in the second chain from my hook and in each chain across. So here are my first one, two, three, four, five single crochet and I'm just going to continue working those Cross until I get to the end. Okay, so here's my single crochet row done. At this point I have 19 single crochet, so one less stitch than the starting chain that I made. For row two, we are going to chain three, turn, skip this first stitch here because this chain three is going to count as that stitch, and we're going to double crochet in this stitch right here. Okay, so we have our chain three and our double crochet. Now our repeating stitch pattern, we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to skip three stitches and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain six. Skip three stitches, single crochet in the next stitch. 
and repeat this across. So here I've finished three chain six spaces. You want to repeat that until you have five stitches left. So here I have five left. I'm going to do another chain six, skip these three, and then double crochet at the end. So here's my last chain six. Skip three just like before. Double crochet in the second to last stitch. And then double crochet in this very last single crochet right here. Okay. So here for my row we just have four little chain six spaces. You'll want to check out the written pattern so you see the exact amount you should have and then you can count them each time to make sure you're on track. For row three we're going to start the same way. Chain three, turn, double crochet in that second double crochet. So we have those going right on top of each other like they should be. Now for this row in order to get the chain spaces so that they're offset from one another, we're going to start by single crocheting in this first chain six space. And then we're going to chain six again. And single crochet in the next chain six space. So now you can see that instead of the chain space being right on top of the previous one, it's going in between these two, which is exactly the look we want. Chain six again. Skip the single crochet, just go right into the next chain six space. Chain six. And this time, once we get to the last chain space, so here I'm on my last one, you're going to single crochet into it again. And then you're just going to double crochet into the last two double crochet. So now we have one less chain space. So whenever we do these chain rows, we're going to alternate between having in my case, four and then three, four and then three. So now we're on row four. It's starting the exact same way. Chain three, turn, double crochet. Now this time we're going to do it just like we did this first row, except we won't be working in single crochets. We'll be working in the chain spaces. So chain six. single crochet in the first chain space. So this time we are going in the first chain space. And repeat. Chain six once again. Single crochet in the next chain space. Do this again. Four, five, six. Here's my next one. And now we've used up all the chain spaces, but we still need to chain six before doing our last two double crochet. Just like we did that at the beginning. So chain six one more time and then make sure you skip the single crochet. We're not working into that. We're going into this first double crochet and then the last double crochet which is the chain three space that counts as the double crochet. All right, so this is our first set of chains all done. Now it is time to do the double crochet section. So in between each set of chains we have this nice row of double crochet that just kind of breaks it up really nicely. So to do this you're going to chain three after turning and double crochet in the next double crochet. Now what we're going to do that's different is we're going to work three double crochets in every chain space across. So I'm going to do my first one, one, two, three. So see I've worked all three of them in this chain space. I'm just going to kind of move them to kind of center them across the chain space. Now I'm going to single or double crochet in this single crochet right here. 
and repeat. So I'm going to work three into this space. One, two, three. Now here's the single crochet, one. Now I'm just taking this and kind of spreading them out a little more. And one, two, three. Single crochet. Here's my very last chain space. One, two, three. And then we just do our last two double crochets like normal on the edge. So at this point, when you get done, the amount of double crochet you have should be the same exact amount of single crochet that you started with. So I'm going to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we are back at our original amount, which is exactly what we want. So at this point, you pretty much have the entire shawl. It's super simple, like I said, perfect for beginners. We're just gonna keep repeating this. So I'll do one more row with you to show you how we go back to row two. So we're, you're gonna repeat, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, rows two through five until the shawl is any width that you would like. So let's do this row one more time together. Chain three, turn, double crochet into the second double crochet. Now we're just doing this row over again. So chain six, skip three double crochets and single crochet into the next. Chain six, Skip three double crochets, single crochet into the next, and I just have to do that two more times. Here's my last chain six. I'm skipping three and double crocheting into the final two. And now you can see we are back to this original row again. So now I would repeat row three, then row four, and then row five. And you can just keep doing this till you have lots of sections of chains and then a double crochet row in between. So that's really all there is to making the Eva shawl. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and come subscribe if you'd like to see more crochet pattern stitch tutorials. I do tons of stuff like that and yarn reviews, and I would love to see you around there more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!